you write songs as well, Don? I do write songs, yeah. I suppose you could call me a, a songwriter. Uh, I put feelings, uh, what I, my thoughts into words, and I put them down on paper. So if that categorises me as a songwriter, that's fair enough. Um, uh, I don't... I can't say that I have five or six albums of my own songs, but I have... I have 15 or 20 of my own songs, yeah. Lovely stuff. And you have a new song written that you want to share with us? Well, I suppose now, Quivin, it's, it's a song that I've written a long, long time ago, but I've put, in, uh, I've, I've put a new name on it, uh, specifically because of, um, I, played, I played, at like a, played at a concert during the Christmas in Galway, uh, in the Clare Galway Hotel with, uh, with the Canes, and um, I got up and I sang this song, uh, and the song tells the story personally about myself and my mother in Galway, Margaret. Um, uh, that one particular day, she was um, she was out on the street, and she was I don't know, like she was her sweeping brush, and she was, and this uh, person passed down and said, "Isn't it great that Don found his own mother after all the years?" And it nearly stuck her to the ground, and. Uh, I was think maybe at work or gone someplace when I came in that evening she was very down and very sad about she said to me well I don't I didn't mind you going looking for your own mother she said but I, I'd have thought you would have told me first yourself you know and I got a bit upset about it and uh, I said that's really not true how that happened and I went to my room and I wrote a, I wrote a little poem and um, I came down and I put some kind of lyrics to it. I had to wait a couple of weeks till I got some nice melody again for it. But uh, I put this lovely song together. Um, and I suppose before I, <coughs> before I sing it for you, uh, again going back to the Kilfenora, I was doing a gig down in Wexford and I think Carrigan Bannon was the name of the place. And uh, we played in a beautiful church at a festival down there, the Murphy Festival. And... Uh, when I got up to go home on the Sunday morning, I looked at my phone on the Facebook and it said there's a commemoration day in Sean Ross Abbey in Ross Grey in County Tipperary. And I knew that's where I had been born, but I had never been there, you know. And it was always in my mind that so someday I'll go back to see the place where I was born. And, of course, I hadn't found my mother, you know. And I still haven't to this day, so I'll explain that in the song in yeah. a moment. But I parked my car in Ross Grey and I sat down and I had a cup of coffee. And... Um, I was thinking and thinking and I made a phone call to my wife to tell her where I was and tell her the situation. She said, look, whatever you think is good for yourself, go and do it. So I stayed there for another about 10 minutes and I had passed where the home was, where the convent was. And I was just, I got out of my car to put the coffee cup into the bin to go home when the horn behind me beeped in the car. And who was it but the priest from the night before at the concert from Wexford? He was going up to see his brother in Galway. So we got talking for a few minutes and he said, what, what are you doing here? Well, I said, I'm just on my way back to Galway. Well, he said, that's what I'm doing as well. But anyways, after another minute, I said, look, Father, I explained to him why I was there and that I had been born in Shanross Abbey and I hadn't been back there in 48 years and I was afraid to go inside the gates. He said, let your heart guide you. And I got into the car and went down into the gates and I met a steward and I said I just need to go to the graveyard I don't really want to go to the uh, to the commemoration day it's too much for me I said can you tell me where the uh, graveyard is so he said down there to the right hand side so <clears throat> I parked my car and I walked down I went over a little stile in the wall anyone doesn't know what a stile is a small little gap in the wall they're very young <laughs> yeah and uh, when I went over the wall the first uh, grave I seen in front of me was uh, a grave of Michael Hess and Michael Hess was uh, the son of Philomena Lee uh, otherwise known as she called him Anthony was his real name and they had missed each other they had been looking for each other for years um, he came back and he died of a broken heart they say uh, and she had been back to Sean Ross Abbey looking for him and he was looking for her and Mother Hildegard was telling both of them that there was no sign of each other even though they were uh, they were there on the doorstep at different times and that's in the movie Philomena if anyone wants to see it and I thought it was very very sad but I thought it was honourable of him in his last wishes to be buried there so his mother would find him if she was still alive and when I came out over that wall and walked down the road towards uh, to my car this lady came up and said uh, how are you I seen you up at the graveyard I said yeah I was up saying a prayer and she said you were standing there and it was Philomena Lee and um, uh, I got talking to her and her daughter was with her and I told her I was going home and she said no she said come on down here so I went down to the commemoration with her I told her it was my first time back in uh, 48 years <coughs> since I was born so we had a beautiful day there and mother baby home you know it's a topic at the moment it's, sure. it's still I don't have a birth certificate and are you looking for your mum at the moment 
I suppose publicly no. Publicly no this evening I say I am. Yeah. Uh, I've started the tracing, so maybe if she's out there tonight yeah, <laughs> this evening. It'd be unbelievable. But I am and there's nothing wrong with being adopted or anything like that. People kind of you know, my friends sometimes they say I, I never knew you were adopted or anything like that. But um you know, uh, we have to take it's not a fight, we have to make it uh, accessible to people who are looking for their blood blood mothers or blood fathers or siblings, you know. It's important to us as people, you know, because back in when the state was formed the church knew about it babies were being sold to America uh, the government knew about it so there's a kind of a secrecy going on you know we have to get rid of that stigma you know we yeah, have to thankfully though it's starting to come out and, and it is it's starting, starting to disappear yeah and there shouldn't, yeah, there shouldn't be any hatred over it like Philomena Lee is the most uh, she's the nicest lady you ever know she, she never lost her faith you know she's still a divine or devoted Catholic now uh, maybe I'm not the strongest of Catholics but I, I do go to Mass in that time and I, I don't look up at the person that's on the altar and say you're the f- you're the fault of that. It's the system, and we have to keep changing the system. We have to rebel with our with our lips. That's exactly. The way I would, I Listen, <coughs> thanks a million for sharing the yeah, story. We'll, sorry, we'll, no, I didn't mean to win myself there, and all of <laughs> not at all. It's it's a beautiful story. Yeah, so uh, I'm really um, delighted. That yeah, so I got a great reaction. Yeah, I got a great reaction to this song then when I told the story, and uh, I've recalled the song, and it's called "You'll Always Be My Mother." So for all the mammies out there, yeah. I still remember the day I came in And you were looking so sad I knew you'd been talking to someone And they had hurt you real bad To upset you something real hard to do because you're so strong down inside so you told me to sit down we talked of what happened and the two of us sat there and cried you said somebody told you that I found my real man You were glad, but you didn't mind It just hurt you that somebody else had to tell you You thought I'd tell you myself in good time Now to see you sat there and all upset now And for me to know it's not true It's the person who told you Is the one that is hurt Because they're probably just jealous of you I never went looking But it off crossed my mind I sometimes think of the other But deep down inside this heart of mine You'll always be my mother You said somebody told you I found my real man You were glad, but you didn't mind It just hurt you that somebody else had to tell you You thought I'd tell you myself in good time And often I think what this world would be like we all were to listen to tears Love would be torn, hearts would be broken And true love would be like blunt nails And the people who gossip and who need an old chat and taking good from people they're fond So that talk that went on about me and my man Has made our love a much stronger bond You said somebody told you I found my real man 
you were glad, but you didn't mind. It just hurt you that somebody else had to tell you. You thought I'd tell you myself in good time. You thought I'd tell you myself in good time. Don Stiff, you always sing from the heart. It wouldn't matter what the subject matter of the song was, but uh, you were definitely singing from the heart there. A beautiful song. Thanks Congratulations on the song alone and on yeah. the melody. Thank what a beautiful much. song. A very sad story. Yeah. But hopefully there will be a happy ending. I, I wish you the very best to look in your search yeah. for, yeah, thanks for your for real mum. Yeah. And your parents in Bohemore sounded like lovely people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My, anyone that knows my mother now that could... Uh, I wouldn't be able to explain it now on the air uh, sure. about that lady. But uh, no, she's great. And my father, God rest him, he was a great man. And they gave me, they gave me and my sister uh, all the affection and all the love that any uh, any young people could want from parents, you know. So I'm proud of them, and I know they're proud of me. They are very proud of you, I'm sure. Yeah.